Hey guys, it is Thursday, November 10th. It's around 10 a.m. I just got out of bed and I figured today I would vlog because instead of going to classes, I'm going to a conference in Boston called Inbound and there's a bunch of great speakers and cool panels and stuff. So I figured I would take you guys along. One of the keynote speakers is Anna Kendrick. So that'll be pretty cool. And then also Serena Williams is gonna be there. I'm still in my pajamas, so I'm about to jump in the shower and then I have to pick out something to wear. So my hair looks a bit crazy right now because I just got out of the shower, but I finally decided what I am going to wear. A like darker purplish maroon sweater, a blazer, some um, blue jeans, darker blue jeans, and then my little booties um originally i was going to wear like full business um uh, professional but i talked to somebody who went to the conference yesterday and they said that it was very casual like there were people there wearing jeans and t-shirts and sneakers so i decided to go a little bit more business casual a little dressed down i think i'm going to do my makeup finish my hair and then i am heading to get some breakfast slash lunch before we go. I am finished getting ready and I'm gonna head over to the dining hall in about 20 minutes, get something to eat, and then we are heading into Boston. Let's go. So we are on our way into Boston. I'm here with Kim and Sophia. Sophia's driving us Hello. into Boston. Hello. And there's Kim. <laughs> I will let you know when we get there. It is at the Boston Convention and Exhibition Center in the Seaport District, right? Yes. Yeah. So we're on our way there right now and it should be fun. I think we're gonna see Anna Kendrick first, so that'll be cool. We made it to the Convention Center. We're on our way in, we just parked. So we made it, we are here. I'm currently sitting inside of a letter right now. Um, but we, we've arrived um, and we're gonna see Anna, Anna Kendrick speak in a little bit. She starts at two, it's about 1.30, so we're gonna head in soon. his social media oh. account um, because he saw that being funny online worked. It got more people to follow. Oh, but yeah. I feel like you you 
write all your own material, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know. There is someone that I follow on Twitter who I adore, and I do kind of suspect that this person is using a writer because the jokes are real writery, you know? Um, like real, like Jay Leno joke, joke jokes. And, um, and it does kind of turn me off a little bit, even though I, I really admire that person's work. Um, and I don't know that this anonymous person is doing that, but um, I, I feel like it's better to just have like a couple of misses and just keep writing your own thing than, than have somebody write for you. Although I do really like his Twitter feed, so maybe I'll look into that. I'll just steal his writers. <laughs> I won't have anything to uh, promote like the middle of it next year, I don't think. And I will have to uh, decide on another movie. It's, it's on your or or we re-upload all those uh, photo editing apps. Or or I could choose a different three things to <laughs> be That's into right. other than food. I could try alcohol. <laughs> Anna, thank you so much. It was such a pleasure to chat with you. Thank you so much. So, so all of uh, all of us know about your compliments on the court, and uh, I was having this discussion with someone, and they go, "Well, she is just she's just a natural," and I stopped them. I said, "Well, I don't think anybody's necessarily a natural. And we, uh, I've seen your story. You've worked extremely hard to get where you are. So tell us about that. Tell us what it what it takes to be on top of the game, like you've been on top of the game for so long." Yeah, well, I definitely agree with that. I feel like um, I was put into tennis and, you know, maybe I had some athletic ability, but it's like it, everyone has, I think, can start. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people start in a similar position. But it's how you grow it, how you nurture it, how you water, you know, that plant, so to say, to see how far it can grow and how, how much better you can be. And so... Um, yeah, I feel like a lot of people do say, you know, she's naturally gifted, she's naturally talented, but especially in tennis, I feel like it takes a lot of effort, it takes a lot of hard work, it takes a tremendous amount of dedication. Honestly, that's just really in general across the board. All right, so it's a lot later now. Um, I think the last thing you saw was Serena Williams speaking. She was just amazing. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of a recap of what happened so we um, got to the conference, got our badges, 
and we immediately went down to get seats for Anna Kendrick's keynote. She is amazing. She's hilarious. She's really inspiring. Such like a powerful woman who does not take no for an answer. She's amazing. So we got into the auditorium and there were other people there who we knew who had saved us seats. So we go there, we get our seats, and we were kind of far back. So I was like, nah, I wanna sit up close. I had my two friends who were there with me save my seat, and I ran all the way up to the front, and I snagged us three seats up the front. I saved them, called my friends, and I was like, yo, come up to the front. We got amazing seats. So we ended up sitting like a few rows, maybe like eight rows back from the front, whereas before we were in almost the whole back of the auditorium. It's a skill I learned at VidCon all those years, um, how to snag seats up front without losing the other ones in case you don't get anything better. And like I said, Anna was amazing. She is one of my favorite actresses. And then we hung around for a little while and Serena came out a little bit late because um, her host, who was Michael Strahan from, um, he played football for a while and then he was on Good Morning America, I think. So he is from the New York Giants. He was on Live with Kelly and Michael, and now he's on Good Morning America. So he is really cool too, but he was a little bit late, so that pushed her thing a little bit late. But overall, it was amazing. Them two together, it was such a great interview. He's very good at conducting interviews. Um, And she is such a powerhouse. After that, we left the convention center and we drove back to campus, but because there was quite a bit of traffic, it took us about an hour and a half to get back. I don't think I'm gonna have anything else to vlog tonight, so I think I'm gonna end it here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think of these kind of vlogs. I'm considering starting to do more vlogs, maybe like one a week or a weekly type of thing. I'm not sure yet. Um, I just feel like I'm at college and I don't know if you guys really wanna see like my day to day when I'm at school going to classes and stuff like that. I mean, I do have some interesting things going on. So, um, I mean, you guys let me know if that's something you wanna see. But for now, I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video.